when you're talking, make your messages so that you know the other person will think that their peer group will approve of what they're doing. Quick example, say somebody's going to go buy a car, okay, so they're going to go get that red Miata, okay, that beautiful little vehicle, and it's so sexy and cool and all that, and it's like, why do people buy that? Do they buy it because it's $7,000 overpriced? No. Do they buy it for any reason aside from that it's massively sexy? No. They buy it because it's sexy, period. Okay? And they know that all their friends will think the same thing about it. If they thought that this car that they were going to spend 30 grand on was going to be something that people would go, geez, that's really weird, they would not purchase it. We do things with the intention of, at the unconscious level, of making everybody else in our peer group think that we just made a good decision. So when you're communicating with somebody, I need you to make sure that your peer, the peer group of the people that you're communicating with are going to think that you, this guy's making a good decision, the one you're persuading. Okay? It's as simple as that. Now, how do you do that? How do you convince this employee, this person, to buy your idea? Well, you have to do what's called future pacing. And future pacing, we touched on it before, is, is using that little hypnotic induction. You just you, you optimize com conformity by future pacing. That means you say, hey, you know what? This is a really cool idea that I want you to consider here. What do you think of this? And the person will hem and haw a little, say, well, geez, you know, I don't know if I really want to do that with this project or not. Say, hey, imagine this. Imagine that you have your name on this project. You do this thing, and that like your superstar at the awards banquet next year and that everybody realizes that you did this for the company, how are you going to look when you walk up there and go, well, I didn't really want to do this. Instead, I want you to walk up there and go, hey, this was my idea. Yeah, Kevin helped a little. Yeah, he's all right. But this was our idea, and this is what we're doing. And, and then everybody's applauding. You feel good inside? That's how you sort of future pace. You go in the future, you have the person in that moment in the future, and that's how you gain conformity okay, with these people okay, that you need to persuade. Number nine, 